Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last session it was full moon time and we defeated the ninth shadow was it I believe? Nine down and three to go and uh, yeah it was pretty it was pretty all right. We didn't uh, we didn't struggle too hard on that still nowhere close to the level of the lovers one that absolutely ruined our lives. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's all good. Uh, Junpei was detained. Junpei was not available for that because he got sort of kidnapped by Chidori, but kidnapped and brought to our own roof. So uh, yeah, not uh, not taken too far from home and we got him back and she is now sort of under our control. So we will see what happens with that. Let's have a chat with everyone. Hello there. Strega member Chidori has been sent to a Kirijo run hospital. Mitsuru-san and Sanada-san are currently on their way there to interrogate her. When neither senpai is present, we are not permitted to go to Tartarus. You know... Remember how Lucia couldn't detect Strega when we encountered them last time? I think one of Medea's skills prevented me from sensing them. We only saw two of them, but that girl must have been somewhere close. Must have, must have. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> Can't believe he got played like that. Where did where did his game go? Pathetic. <laughs> hmm. What's done is done. Anyway, you better be careful too. Ba -bum -ba -bum. What date was I looking for on the fridge again? Uh, ooh, 13. Okay, we're close to that. I can't wait to forget. 13. Uh, I think we can get new SP stuff. Yar. Uh, where were the others? Here, right? Yoink. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lovely. Right, it is Sunday, which means it is permit time. Why are we... Am I crazy? Are we not usually able to go straight to the first... to the, to the lounge? Why are we having to teleport out front now? Is there something, hang on, is there something out front that I'm supposed to be seeing? Because every other time we're usually able to teleport straight in to the house. So I, I don't understand why that is no longer an option. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a bug? <laughs> I, I, I can't think of a reason why they would remove the ability to teleport to your house. Like, into it. That's weird. Okay. Time for this fucking person. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I see Maya. I went to the gym yesterday to work out. My muscles are sore, but I'm so buff. Winky face. There's nothing a little endorphins won't cure, right? Oars? What the fuck is oars? So much pain. Actually, I only went because I was so pissed at that bastard Angie face. What bastard? Uh, sorry, Smiley have kind of a dirty mouth today. Maya seems embarrassed. What I meant was I was upset because of this guy. Remember that Mr. E guy, the SOB, right? I made a small error on some paperwork and now he's all on my ass. You're supposed to be teaching correct grammar, he told me. Shut the fuck up, old man. He thinks he's all that just because he's a classic lit teacher for fuck's sake. Doesn't he know who I am? I'm Maya, you old bastard. XD. If Mr. E starts playing this game too, I'm putting him on ignore, XD. You can't talk to him either, K. He he honed. Maya is confining in me. I feel like we're going closer. I feel like it's entirely one-sided.
Mr. E probably doesn't have a computer at his house anyway. He probably uses an abacus. Talks talk about classic XD Rufflecopter. God, please just die. Please just fucking die. Phew, much better. Maybe I'll go take a shower now. Blush. Done. Worry. I won't let that old geezer get me down, Tatsuya. Myers player signed off. Thank God for that. God, what a fucking irritating person. Up. <laughs> I came down and you said sup and then you don't even have anything new to say? Bruh. Bruh. Hey, so... Junpei seems to be really serious about that girl. Um, as his teammates, I feel like maybe we should do something. But what? Uh, encourage him. Yeah. Encourage him, huh? Honestly, I don't even know how I do that. Whoa. I wasn't too surprised to learn that she's Striga's support member. Capturing her will provide us with quite an advantage. We're growing ever closer to completing our mission. Yeah, man, how the fuck did she just stroll through this place whilst you were here with Junpei and got up to the roof and that didn't. You didn't notice that? Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. It's not like you have multiple places you, you hang out. You either hang out right next to the door, in which case you'd have seen them, or you hang out in the fucking comms room with the fucking cameras everywhere and you'd have seen them. I do not believe that you didn't see them. I just simply do not. Uh, Mutatsu, that's Tower Bro, right? I still have a Tower Persona, right? Do, 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 do. Yep. Good. I always thought the men in this club weren't that good looking, but I <laughs> guess I was wrong. Did you know the wiring here was in bad shape? We just barely squeaked by during some big events. The weird thing is it's fixed now, but nobody ever called maintenance. Why did nobody ever call maintenance? What? What do you mean nobody ever called maintenance? Why? Well Oh, hey, you can buy some of this shit here now. That wasn't there before. Um. Man, a hundred grand. We actually could buy this now. <laughs> we actually could buy this now. But I think. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. Yo. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Seems to be drinking by himself. What? Huh? Leave me alone. No. Oh, it's you. Hey. Can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. Damn it. I can't believe I let this happen. How pathetic. Oh, I'm in bad shape. Um, I actually, because this guy, I find this guy hard to read on which option I should say. Because, like, normally, are you okay would be the correct option. But there's a chance that this guy, brash as he is, would be like, I've just fucking told you I'm in bad shape, dickhead, and, like, I should just tell him to go home, you know? I'm gonna try this one. Let's see if he's going against the grain. You should go home. Yeah. Aha! You're right, kid. I should go home and sleep. I see, I see. Even, even if I go home, I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Signing the Heart Sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. Uh, I guess I'm getting old, huh? It's always in times like these uh, when it's hardest to be alone. 
You live by yourself? You act like you don't care about others, kid. You sure can be nosy when you want to. I got all these gaudy rings on now, but I used to wear a wedding ring, you know? If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Everything we see has form. No form has permanence. It's all in constant motion. Form has no self. His true face is that of emptiness. And yet, form is emptiness. And emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. Because form is emptiness. And emptiness is form. Okay, my guy, you are starting to yap a bit now. You are starting to waffle. <laughs> Contrary to his words, I can sense feelings of affection from Mutatsu. I feel like I understand him a little better. Clap. I'm gonna go home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh yeah, about the memorial service. It was a seventh day memorial. It was only 19. Random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. Be careful on your way home too, kid. Will do. Said goodbye and went back to the dorm. Monday the 7th. Morning. Sup. It doesn't seem like that Chidori girl is gonna talk, does it? Despite everything she did, Junpei is really worried about her. I just don't get why. That's Junpei for you. Yeah. I guess, but I'm still a little worried. Oh my god. <laughs> the music jump scare. Class has ended for today. Hey. Go. Yeah? What's up? I'd totally rush straight to the hospital right now. What if I mess up big time and get banned from seeing Chidori? I wouldn't be able to take that, man. Damn it. Um. Okay, Miyamoto and Odagiri. Where the fuck is Yuko? I feel like it's been a billion years since Yuko's been available. Uh, Odagiri doesn't rank up. Miyamoto does. All right, who else is available? Don't really care about you. Does Fuka require max courage? I think it was Fuka, it was max courage for Fuka, max charm for Yukari, and max academics for Mitsuru, right? Um, is there anything I need to do after school on a Monday? I don't think so. We could go and do the uh, duplicate card thing. Which surely I will use someday, right? I'm definitely not going to get to the end of the game and never have used any of these cards that I've duplicated, right? Um, I wish it would say, like, how much slash damage. Miyamoto is Chariot. Do I have a Chariot persona? I don't. God damn it. God damn it, man. Uh, who is Fortune again? Uh, 
Fortune was the art club guy, right? I do want to do his. Oh, what one can I get rid of then? I wish I had more slots, man. I don't want to have to keep going back and forth to the Velvet Room. But if I get rid of my good shit... Like, I don't need Black, Floss, Black Frost, because the full one is not one that I need to have. But... I don't want to get rid of him, because it's going to be expensive to summon back, and... I'll probably forget to summon him back. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm using all of them. I guess we'll just have to keep going back and forth. I guess it is what it is. Just a bit of an annoying system. Like, just give me enough slots to hold one of each. I can't, you know. Marvelous. I'm looking. How may I assist you? This is your progress so far. Uh, chariot. Chariot, 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 chariot. This Yoink. you can't carry any more than that. Oh, fuck me. I forget, man, every time. Why does it not just let you power? replace one? Please like, when you go to Tartarus, you would like to and you have a full team, you can speak to someone else and just go, hey, yeah, just replace this person. Sure, if I do that, it just creates Seeing a chariot. Seeing personas like come to be is a great joy of mine. I already have that chariot one, but whatever. This one is somewhat beneath you. Please choose what skills to inherit. Uh, I mean, whatever. I'm not going to actually use this thing, am I? It appears it will receive a large amount. Well, then. Shall we begin? Well, I'll take that. <laughs> sure. Uh, chariot, and then... I guess let's get back the Hermit one. This is your progress so far. Please, is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look You don't have any more requests Good for me, do you? Here are my requests. Uh, no, just the regular stuff. Wait, I can ask her out. Has she got another thing? A shame. No. Very well. Ba -da -ba -ba. Right. What's up? Hey, you're heading to practice, right? I'm feeling pretty good about myself today. Yeah. Awesome! I can't get psyched up without you there, you feel me? I've been slowing down lately, so I gotta go twice as hard now. Yuko! Yuko, when are you going to show up in school again? What is it? And what's with the scary look? What do you think you're doing? Just practicing? Well, that's enough practice for you. Get your butt to the nurse's office. The rest of you, get back to it. The nurse's office? Miyamoto, did something happen? <sighs> Knew it. He's such a bad liar. You can totally tell he's going easy on one knee. I know you have something to do with this. Sorry, but you're coming too. Okay. We're headed to the nurse's office with Yuko. 
I just had a call with your mom about your knee. You're throwing caution to the wind, young man. That blabbermouth. I want you to stop before things get any worse. You got that? Please don't do this to me. I need to practice. I heard, Cause. Yuko! And you too? Take some time off, Cause. Practice can wait till you're all better. I can't! I don't have time! Huh? What's the rush? Why do you do these things to yourself? You've been hanging around with Miyamoto lately, right? You must know what's going on. I don't know anything. Stop. Stop. I don't want you to lie for me. I don't want you to get dragged into this. So I'll come clean. Miyamoto is trying to protect me. I feel like we're becoming closer. Rank 8. So, the truth is... And that's the gist of it. So I need to practice. I have to win. Or else... I know how you feel, Miyamoto, but... It all depends on me if my nephew ever walks again. So that's what's going on. I don't mind if he competes in the regionals. It's just the individual competition, so we don't have to worry about him bringing us down. Hey, what happened to practice? We were worried about Miyamoto. Guys. I'll let you keep training for now. We'll see how things go. But if I tell you to stop, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen, and I want you to go home today. Your mother will be upset with me if I let you stay. Sorry, coach. Everyone, I... I think we're done here. The rest of you, back to training. I finished training with everyone and went back to the door. Welcome back. Uh, hi, how was your day? Kirijo-senpai and the others are at the hospital and won't be back until later today. From what I hear, that girl, Chidori, won't say anything. Maybe we should hold off on going to Tartarus until things are under control. Sounds good to me. Uh, Mitsuru-san and Sanada-san are both still at a hospital. Their questioning of Chidori must not be going well. Oh, can we do a plant thing with you? Is that what He's up here. I guess. Did we already? We, have we come on this? Um. Okay, she's got a fizz boost. Strength and physical skills. But we got that off the plants, right? We haven't done reading with her, I don't think. Hello there. Makoto-san, I'm glad you're here. Are you available tonight? I have borrowed a book about Yakuza from the library. I was searching for combat-related material, and the librarian suggested this. Um... It seems to provide information on combat tactics, as well as the proper mindset for battle. Reading Yakuza novels with Igis could help improve my charm. However, there are some elements that I don't fully comprehend, but you may be able to help me understand them more. Would you be willing to try? Actually, uh, before we do that, uh, is there anyone else available? Okay, no, good. This is a free night, so that's fine. Let's do this then. I would like to do Shinji, but... I think, I guess, well... I don't know. I, I like, I guess, more than Shinji. I like Shinji a lot, but I'm probably gonna always have, I guess, on the team, so... Excuse me. Probably better to have her get her thing first. Sure, let's do it. You have my thanks. Since the two of us will be reading from one book, please open it wide so that we may both view its contents. Ah, here it is. In this scene, the main character says, That ass better not crack under pressure. <laughs> Usually, people's asses are already cracked. Oh, Yours no. Yours as well, right? 
that's a secret. I understand. But please tell me someday. <laughs> For now, I will put the question on hold. <laughs> Currently, this is the only section that I am unclear on. But I suspect that if I continue reading, I will encounter even more confusing phrases. Probably. If you don't mind, could I ask you to read with me until the end? Thank you very much. With your help, I've been able to update my records with new information. Apparently, this book has a sequel. If it is possible, I would like to read with you again sometime. Hopefully twice more before we next go to Tartarus, in fact. I feel like my charm has increased after reading about the main character's righteous spirit. It's gotten rather late. We should head back to our rooms. Or should I say, our turfs. No, you should just say rooms. <laughs> Turfs? What? Oh, hello. We're going dark hour. It looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? Is that supposed to be Tartarus? In the background there? Because if it is supposed to be Tartarus, that does not look anywhere near tall enough. Well, I don't know what else, what other building would be like massive like that. Like, it's obviously way taller than other skyscrapers, but it's not that much taller. Like, it doesn't look like it would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of floors, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> This was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control, especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that mm. has lost control, the user is but a shackle. They had, their they had their power forced upon them, so these were the test subjects. We've heard about test subjects mentioned. I think it was in one of the old documents that we got at the end of... Uh, at the end of one of the Tartarus sections. So these guys, Strega, were test subjects that were like the original Persona users, I guess. But they weren't doing it by choice. They had... they were just like forced to become a Persona user, I guess as part of these tests that were going on. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. Interesting. So he has power forced upon him. To a persona that's lost control, the user is but a shackle. And he says this was the result of one such killing. And then who's he quoting here? I am a shadow, the true self. Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. 
Is he quoting? But then Jin says, so that's why you don't use an evoker. But it's not like he would have to use an old shitty evoker. Whatever. Hmm. Like, if he wanted to use an evoker, he could just use a modern evoker. So I'm not sure what the relation is there. Unless an evoker... Uh, uh, okay, actually, I don't actually know. Are evokers tied to the person who uses it? Like, could could Yukari and Junpei just swap their guns over and that would be fine? Or is an evoker specific to the person and persona that uses it? Is it like once you use it once, it is tied to you and no one else can use that one or something? And so that was like his original evoker or something, so he doesn't use it because they become too hard to control and he can't get a new one because he's tied to that one? Or... I don't know. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. Hmm. Hmm, okay. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. <sighs> Am I feeling... Attachment for someone? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the guy? Bro's losing his shit. Such a thought is beneath me. Okay, he likes us. Tuesday the eighth. I don't know if we want him to like us. <laughs> Maybe it'll come in useful. I can hear the gossipers. Hey, have you tried that famous beef bowl at Umiyushi? It's only available for a limited time. Huh? I haven't. Is it new? Yep, yep. Yep, but only during fall. Everyone who's anyone has been raving about it. Lots of shops have been putting out new products lately, like at Manga Star. Wait, you really haven't heard about any of this? You mean out of loop, huh? Sounds like various shops have new products for sale. Fast spell is wrong. Bow, ba, bow, ba, da, 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 bow, bow, ba, da, bow. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? You're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Bro wants to Did smash. You anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Iori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, he I know really wants to smash. But, I don't know, I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Bro likes to be dominated when she fucking cuffed him. He was like, hell yeah, I'm into this even more now. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it. You okay? I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori, your arm, it's bleeding. Duh, not again. Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She 
did this to herself? Apparently we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! Then, that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You were the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. He jumped paid to conclusions? I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice. Yeah, not when Junpei is not here, she won't. Class has ended for today. Okie dokie. Uh, about Korochan. That's the same message as before. Uh, Chihiro is available again. Cool. Why is Yuko just not fucking available ever at the moment, it seems? Feels like it's been, like, ages since you guys have been available. Uh, okay, Chihiro will go up. Miyamoto won't. God oh, damn it. Should I do that, though? It's a, it's a double exclamation mark thing. I probably should do that. I want to do Chihiro, but... Because we, we missed this last time. I don't know if you get infinite chances to do it. Because we chose to do the uh, Mitsuri one instead of this last time. So I better do this whilst I can, I think. Should I spend some time with Goro Mori? Koromaru is eagerly watching all the people pass by again today. Help. Earlier. What happened? We're in trouble. It's my friend. He accidentally stepped on a doggy's tail. And now he won't stop chasing him. I think the doggy's real mad. Where are they? This way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Naughty looking boy. I mean, you said it was an accident. There's a boy at the top of the jungle gym. He'd only be naughty if he was deliberately trying to fucking step on a dog's tail. If he just accidentally did it, then that's just unfortunate. Unfortunate. Koromaru is trying to reason with the stray dog. There's nothing we can do. Incredible. Thank you. What's wrong? It's okay. You can come down now. I I can't get down. I it's too high. I shouldn't have climbed up here. I helped the boy get down. The dog in the jungle gym was so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Thanks for helping me, mister! Thank Koromari. Yeah, thanks, Koromaru! I did literally nothing. And I brought them here. I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said Koromaru would be at the shrine gate, looking after all the people in town. So, even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? Sounds right to me. I knew it. Koromaru is this town's watchdog. 
I found out why Koromaru sits there in the sun. I understand him a little better now. Oh, by the way, are you Koromaru's new owner? We're friends. Is there really a difference? <laughs> well, as long as he's happy. Uh-oh, we better get home soon. Whoa, you're right! Okay, see you guys later! I feel like my courage has increased after seeing Kurumaru stand up to a threat. Flowers are laid there. They look new. Are these here to honor the memory of the priest? We went back to the dorm together. That was nice. Welcome back. Uh, hi. Uh, how was your day? So, um, you've probably already seen the message I sent. Nope. But I have a favor to ask you. It's about a murder coon. This is just a hunch, but I think he's been feeling kind of down lately. Could you check in on him when you have time? He should be in his room. Sure thing. Ever since second semester started, okay. K and do. There are so many things we don't understand about Chidori. It's also bizarre that Lucia couldn't sense her. She's not mentally stable right now. I can't imagine what it's like to harm your own body. Yeah. Oh, it's another... It's another double, uh... Doubly-do thing. What you call it? Well, sorry, Tanaka. The doubly-do thing takes precedence, I'm afraid. This could be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Yes. Oh, Senpai. Can I help you? Uh, how have you been? Uh, well, I'm okay. Why are you asking? You aren't worried about me, are you? If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. Uh, you can always talk to me. I'll do that. You're really caring, Senpai. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Uh, come to think of it, I haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. Probably. Um, Senpai, you wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome! Take any open seat. He's not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. And it's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Simply grow up. Your order? Uh, two specials. Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like Sonata-san and that guy who recently joined. Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. Ken, I hate to tell you this, but man, but it's good you're never going to be fighting alongside I've everyone. I wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. You'll fight alongside us until I see your Theo G, and then you'll be use. back on the bench. Here you are. Yakutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means... What I saw back then was really... Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. 
Shall huh. we eat? Huh. Back then being the thing he saw that happened with uh, Akihiko and uh, Shinji? Because we know something happened with those two and a third person who I was assuming was Ken's, like, dad or mum or something. And it resulted in that person dying. Was it to do with them? Because this is following on from the scene we just had with Takaya. Was it something to do with their persona, like, being hard to control? Because we've also... The other thing is that we... Right at the start of the game... We had our own persona get, like, destroyed by another persona. And it's, like, right at the start of the game, and then we've never come back to that. We've never seen what that actually means, but is that something to do with this whole thing? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Stuff to think about. Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Wow! A spin-off with Swallow as the main character! I gotta make sure I record that! Do I remember... I feel like I remember Phoenix Ranger from Persona 5. Is that something that originated here? I, I feel like I remember reading some, some, like, broadcast about Phoenix Ranger or something. Um... What's this about? They just announced a TV special for an ongoing superhero series! And it's with Feather Swallow! Out of the five members, he's the one you'd least expect. His name I, is uh, Feather Swallow? A friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them so I have something to talk about. <laughs> Cope. Anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to. And the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... <sighs> Um, it's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. What are you hey, talking Amara. about, my guy? It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't. Is he like. Is his reason for joining up? to fuck over everyone. I thought he was- I thought he joined up to fuck over Shinji because of what he overheard. But maybe he wants to fuck over everyone and so he's like... He doesn't want to allow himself to think of us doing nice things for him because he doesn't want to... Like, form any bonds or anything because he wants to fuck everyone over? Am I reading too much into this? That's- that's the vibe I'm getting, I don't know. You on your way home? <laughs> us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, Amada-kun? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Amada, you gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on, we can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure Amada-kun has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, Amada-kun. Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. If Sorry about us, that. We're get <sighs> Did you guys not get along? No, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the door. Sure. Parted with Amada and returned to my room. I feel like my academics improved. What? What? Sure. That was a very academic conversation we had. Wait, no it wasn't.
Wednesday the 9th.